Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna call. I should call. I can beat that. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. What? Are you just gonna call? I want that free money. Oh no. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm headed to San Diego to play in the Run Good Poker Series at Hamul Casino. It's just outside of San Diego, super fun event, and I'm going as an ambassador. And tonight we're starting it off with the Ambassador Bounty Tournament, which is a fun one. It's only $200, and if you bust me or any of the other ambassadors, you can win a mystery prize up to $1,000. Last time I was an ambassador for this tour, the guy that busted me won the $1,000. I was actually a big prize, so I don't know if that's gonna happen two times in a row. It is random, but it's definitely a fun event. Looking forward to it. I'll update you guys when we get there. We're staying at an Airbnb with all the ambassadors. Um, run good, set it all up. They're awesome. Really looking forward to this week. All right, this is where we are staying. Oh, Scott put a shirt on, thank God. <laughs> This is pretty cool. This is um, this is what the Run Good crew hooked us up with. Oh, Taylor! <laughs> this is the backyard. It's pretty nice. Yeah, that's like a fucking basketball court in our backyard, by the way. Also have <laughs> Newt. Hi, yeah, Shake. Good boy. Hi. Super cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we are about to kick off the Ambassador Bounty event. It's a $200 buy-in, and if you bust me or any of the ambassadors out, you get a fun mystery uh, bounty prize. It could be up to $1,000. Last time I was uh, an ambassador with them, the winner got $1,000. I'm always a big bounty. I'm going to try not to, but you know. That's pretty good for a $200 buy and you're definitely getting a lot of value here and it's a fun event. First off, we're going to bring out our Dipsy Grace winner. Corey, Corey, you here? There he is. Nope. He didn't win. He got second. That's the great one. <laughs> 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 He's a second place guy. Once again, the demon and the bridesmaids are uh, undervalued in these parts. Give it up, Mr. Court Pageant. Woo! Mr. Scott Stewart. On the table five, this is your target for that. So you also a couple circle rings and some online titles. Please give up Mr. Taylor Howard. All right, this next gentleman, he is coming up from Northern California, so I know there's a little rivalry between South and North. But of course, if you have not seen Warriors. this vlog, it is on YouTube. Check it out, Mr. Kyle Kenikawa. Come on down. Table uh, 11 is your target for that. Cool. Corey just busted. Scott, Scott just busted Corey. Yeah. 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 Alright, that means that there's a one in three chance that mine is a thousand dollars. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the bus on hand. You gotta pay that at least. <laughs> He's got no, he's got that Poker Go subscription, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rock and roll, rock and roll. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna call. I should call. I can beat that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Get a bounty. Oh, oh my god. Uh, can, can, can you just take a picture with all three? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's a decent start to the week. I got sixth place in the ambassador bounty for like 1200 something dollars. 
not bad for a $200 buy-in. It's super late, I'm super tired. Uh, I'm ready to go get some sleep and we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, my bounty was a just a $50 run good gift card. So it was the, the smallest bounty, not the biggest. All right, Scott just won the Ambassador Bounty Tournament and he also picked up two run good gift cards for $50 each as his bounties. Look at that setup. Can we, you know where we zoom in on the circle? Before we go some circle. Zoom in on the $50 round. The $50? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Go for a ride down the side. PCH country limit. I don't need a guide for the lights. Huh? Are, are we talking about the Jess cell? Yeah, that's my. <laughs> I picked up a cellmate last night. He got the top bunk. <laughs> and check this out. We could have yard time. Later on, what time is yard time at? Like one o'clock? One. <laughs> we got my yard time over there at the tennis court. <laughs> it's hilarious. Backstory to that is this morning, Conrad says, Good morning. And I said, Good morning. And he's like, Do you think that's how they do it in jail? <laughs> Jamie's awake now, too. <laughs> yeah. where, where are you? <laughs> So we had a pretty good start for this house. Everybody's cashing. Yeah, there's. I think there's eight people here in this house. Um, Scott won it last night. One of our very own ambassadors. Uh, I got sixth place. Jamie, Corey, Rachel, and Brian all cashed as well. So we're like six for eight. Conrad's one of the uh, Loser. <laughs> losers. We are here to shop for some essentials, and it's Taylor's. Where are you? Taylor's, <laughs> Taylor's first time going into a BEFMO. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I thought it was a national brand, but it's uh, they don't have it in Nebraska. I think we should be good for the next couple of nights here. Yeah. Ooh, and a penny. Thanks, Scott. You got it. <laughs> All right, guys. It is 6 o'clock, and it is 1 o'clock. Uh, last night, the house went 6 for 8 in the bounty tournament. This morning, we went 0 for 8 in the first flight but we're about to jump into flight b of this 250 and find a bag for tomorrow and if we don't we bought a lot of booze and we're going back to the airbnb to drink afterwards i just sat next to my friend anastasia and i'm gonna three bet here uh -oh. <laughs> all right for breakfast we got these fucked up looking oranges which we picked outside but they're actually pretty good Got some coffee, made some eggs, sausage, banana, some toast without butter. Conrad, wow, okay. Well, uh, it's like 10.30 a.m., cheers. All right, all right. that's, all right. that's um, breakfast of champions. I got coffee and banana too. Yeah, well, it's another beautiful sunny day here in San Diego on the Run Good Tour. <laughs> Good afternoon. Same shit as yesterday. Today, uh, it's just a 250 buy-in. And then there's a tag team event tonight, which could be fun. I might tag up with Conrad Simpson. Uh, we'll see. We're both kind of like iffy about it. Oh, shit. There's Tana. What's up, man? And uh, it's just going to be a fun day. Not a lot of detailed poker analysis. We'll see where it goes, though. Who knows? Okay, we are on the registration break and I do have a hand update because this one's a sick one. It's the last hand before the break. I've run up my stack to like 70k before this hand. Um, starting stack was 20k by the way. Uh, under the gun limps, 1200. The small blind completes. I look down at pocket sevens in the big blind. I make it 5200. The under the gun player uh, calls. Small blind folds. The flop comes out jack seven three with the jack and seven of hearts. I downsize at 3.5K, he calls. The turn is a deuce of spades. I bet 8K, he rips it for like 23,000. I call a set of sevens, he has 10 eight of hearts. The small blind says he folded king six of hearts and the five of hearts comes on the freaking river. So that was a massive 80K pot that I lost. And now I'm like pretty much at starting stack. 
Just an update. Uh, I was able to run it up from the last update, and now we're two away from the money and very close to the bubble, so who knows? Still got a chance. Well, that one finished with the min cash, and I might jump into this tag team now. We'll see. Alright, today is the main event. Right now, we are just getting some R&R &R at the beach here in San Diego. We just had a pretty good lunch, had a beer. Newt is having a good time. Where's Newt? Where's Newt? <laughs> main event starts at 6 o'clock and we're just getting some sun and enjoying the San Diego weather. It's awesome. All right, we had a pretty good time out here at the beach. Had a few beers, met some people. I'm gonna go back to the crib, take a nap, shower, maybe do a cold plunge, and get ready for tonight's event. It's a 600, 125K guarantee, and uh, we think they're gonna smash it, maybe 300K. All right, it's time for the main event. This is a $600 buy-in. Let's try not to punt this one and let's try to get the day off tomorrow. That is my goal for right now. Bullet number one is dead, but there's always bullet number two. They're tens or something when you're well, like, oh, man. At least it's a flip. Yeah, I know. My charge is deep, don't need me, sir. <laughs> uh, I'll take a jack now. Oh. Well, this is not going so well so far. We're gonna fire a third one though. All right, it's super loud in here. I can't find a quiet place, but we are finally at the registration break. Registration is closed for flight A, thank God. Uh, I am below starting stack on my third bullet. It has been a terrible day so far. I just can't get anything going. So uh, time to spin this one up and I'll probably be back tomorrow. I just lost another flip. Ace 10 versus pocket deuces. My ace 10 did not hit, so I'm going home. All right, good morning. It is Saturday, it's day five here in Habul. Um, last night was a complete disaster. In day 1A, I fired three bullets. Here's the quick recap. I lost three flips. The first bullet was up and down. Ended up with zero chips when I got it in with ace queen versus tens. The tens held. We rebuy and I three bet jammed 16 big blinds with ace king uh, versus pocket fours who called off and the pocket fours won that hand. And then on the third bullet, uh, I opened the cutoff with ace 10 off, the small blind jams, I call off with uh, yeah, ace 10, I think I had about 20 bigs. No wait, yeah, I had 20 bigs or so. And, uh, and he called, and he had pocket deuces and deuces helped. So um, I was planning to fire four bullets into this tournament, but it's looking like it might do five or six. <laughs> we'll see. We're back, today's the day. Scott, you ready? You ready? <laughs> Hopefully this is the last time I have to do this. All right, I just played a hand here in level one. The big blind is 200. I'm under the gun plus one with king jack of clubs. I raise it to 600. The cutoff calls and one of the blinds calls. So we're three handed. The flop comes out queen jack nine with one club and two spades. We check it to the cutoff. He bets 1200. I call. It's a two of diamonds or something on the turn. I check, he bets 2K. I call. 10 of spades on the river, I make my straight. I lead 4.5K, 
He calls with queen six of spades. He made the flush. I don't know how he didn't raise there, but it looks like we're gonna have to start this bullet off from behind once again. All right, this hand is against the same guy. I opened the cutoff of pocket tens to 800. We're at 300 big blind. Both blinds call. Flop is seven deuce, deuce, rainbow. I make it 1200, he calls. 6x on the turn, he now leads 2k, I call river 8x, he bombs 7k, I call, he has pocket 7s, full house on the flop, I, I'm su super short. Alright, I'm headed back to the registration line, we're going to be firing a 5th bullet, the same guy got me with 5 deuce offsuit. Uh, I flopped top pair, made two pair on the turn, and uh, I mean, I had like 12 big blinds left, but can't beat that guy. All right, bullet five is off to a pretty good start. I finally experienced my first double up of this tournament. The guy just blasted off with ace king in this hand. Um, he opened ace king I th uh, to 1300, we're at 500 big blind. I three bet it to 4200. He calls, the flop came out. 8-5-3 with two spades. I have the king of spades in my hand. He leads, donk leads 4.2k. I just call uh, six of clubs or something on the turn. He barrels 6.5k. I go all in for 19k. He calls with ace king offsuit uh, with the ace of diamonds and the king of hearts and is a deuce of diamonds on the river. So uh, got, I guess we could say I caught a punt finally and my hand finally held up. I was, uh... All right, what's up guys? We're on what's probably the last break of Flight 1B. I'm currently sitting on about 165K and we're going to a 5K big blind. My peak was actually at like 260, so I'm, I'm kind of down swinging, just slowly bleeding out um, chips here, but we are about 20 away from the money and the bag, so hopefully I don't punt this off. And if I do, then we have to play the 1C flight, which starts pretty soon, so. Yeah, right now I'm just getting some fresh air because it's hella smoky inside. I cover. What the fuck dude, was this run out, dude? Gross. I'm so fucking grossed out right now. That was so fucking sick, dude. She goes. She opens with uh, to like 12k. I, there's a there's a caller. I raised a 31k from the small blind with Ace King. She goes over the top, 105k or whatever I call. We both have Ace King and it goes running, running, spades. And now I just hate my life and questioning uh, my existence and everything in, in the world, basically. All right, we got a couple of heroes still in the main event for day two, but for the majority of us, it was a colossal fucking disaster. I'm home. I'm over. I'm over it. Yeah, you sound over it. We're drinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really am. Jamie, are you over it? I'm over it, yeah. Are you over it, Scott? I had a good week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Me too. This was actually a really fun week. Super fun. Run good tournaments just hit differently. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was fun until um, if, if I had a time machine, I would go back to Friday when we were at that bar. That was that was a play. That and we would have just not played. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are on the last day of the Mole series, and we do have a sweat. There are like 35 players entered in the Turbo tournament. Our whole house went down to late regit. Yeah, before we got Boy, there, six. our whole house went down, max late registered, it, took up half the field, and uh, if one of us doesn't win it, we all suck. <laughs> but fortunately, we have my bunkie, Conrad. We got Jamie, three-handed. Three uh, hi. Wow, dude. I don't know what the other card is. Oh. And with this knockout, <laughs> the house secures its second ring of the week. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job.
holding the tube. <laughs> Well guys, that is a wrap from San Diego officially. I'm just gonna have one more drink out here by the pool before we head home back to the airport. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. It started off with a win. It ended with a win. I didn't win, but I didn't lose a lot either. So it's like, it was, it was a fun week. Fun, great group of guys and girls. And uh, looking forward to the next stop. See you guys soon.